On today's ChurchCheckCast.com screencast show, section headings in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So ProPresenter 6 has so many features that sometimes I just forget whether I've talked about them or not. And this is one that I think I touched on right when Pro 6 came out, but I really haven't shown you how to use it and why you would want to use it. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. Here we are in ProPresenter 6, and you'll notice a little something different. Down here in the playlist, I have some headings that I've put in here. And I wanted to show you a couple of things about, first off, why I would do that. Let me turn off contiguous mode here. And first off, you'll notice that if you've got several songs in a section of your worship service, this can be very helpful to say, hey, worship is here, then the next thing down here is a video, and then after the video we have the anthem. So if that's the way that your church service is laid out, that could absolutely work. There's, uh, that's something really neat. You might also notice that there are colors. Now, when you add one, it just comes up like this. In fact, let me do, let me show you exactly how to do that. I'm going to scrunch this down just a little. Yeah, it's not going to, let me show that to you here. Let's see how I can do this. Um, let's see if it'll let me, no, it doesn't seem to want to let me scrunch it down enough. But down here, if you click the plus button. Um, here, let me make this look probably a little bit more like what you are used to seeing. There's your library, there's the groups of playlists, and this is the specific one that's been chosen. You click this down here, and there is a section down here called New Header. It's two down here from New Playlist. After new playlist, new group folder, new PCO playlist, new header. You want to click new header, and when you do that, you will get a new header. Now, we can drag that to where that needs to be, because in this case, it's going to be for the message section. So I'm going to call this message. Notice that I uh, was able to do that just by single clicking on the item and then clicking again slowly. Not a double click, two single clicks. That's so what does that. Um, and then at that point I can go up here and I can click this box right here to change the color and I can also assign it a, a timer. So I could say let's do a timer for this whole section. Pretty cool. Or we can just um, change the color, changing it up there or down here by right clicking on the header. So right click, change header color. Let's say we want it to be carnation, Ooh, very artistic of me, carnation or the anthem. And let's say for whatever reason we want the message to be I don't know, purple. Okay, so we're going to do that. Scroll down and there we go. So you can see that now you have neat little sections separating out these. And I might have overdone it here. This might be too many for you or it might be perfect but it's a way to group things not necessarily by individual pieces of a section
but let's say that you've got a large package, you know, uh, a piece of the service that has three or four elements that go together. You might want to group them together as a package. So you could do that here, again, just calling it package instead of worship. So it would be pretty simple to do. So that's one good thing. One thing that I think that I would do if I were you is go into contiguous mode. And what that does is it kind of puts all these things together and they tend to flow more easily. So I think the contiguous mode is almost a requirement when you're doing this because these pieces will stick together a little bit more than if you just have it by itself here. Not contiguous mode. You see, you click on a heading and it's there. And by the way, if you're space barring or right arrowing through and you click, it shows the heading next. And then you have to spacebar again to show the actual element and then a third time to actually start it if it's a video. Like this. But I'm going to pause that. So you can see how non-contiguous mode isn't as helpful as contiguous mode is where, let's uh, go back here and spacebar takes me to the next thing. And I get into that a little bit quicker, or at least it seems quicker to me. I, it might actually be the exactly the same. But that is one downside is that it selects the header as if it were an element, just an element without anything in it. So that may be something that you need to prep people on if they go this direction. And so that's a little bit about using headers in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you can see that you can really organize your service so that it's really easy not to lose your place by using these headings. If you like this content, you'd love my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter and subscribe there, and you can get even more great content about ProPresenter and other check, church tech-related uh, tutorials and training. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.